podcast is about electronic switches. A switch is either open or closed. When the switch is closed, the two sides of the switch are connected. So what is on the input is on the other side of the switch as well. When the switch is open, the two sides of the switch are not connected. So what is on the input is not what is on the other side of the switch. In fact, what's on the other side of the switch is unknown. In a logic circuit, you usually want a switch to connect you to one of two things, VCC or ground. An unconnected input is not automatically grounded. So to avoid this problem, we use a resistor that's called either a pull-up or a pull-down resistor to pull the input down to ground or up to VCC. These two situations are known as active high and active low. An active high input is one where with the switch unconnected the input is low so when the switch is closed we have a high. An active low situation is where when the switch is closed we get a low so normally there is a high. Probably the normal way that we think about a switch is active high. In this case, here we have the switch and here we have a resistor that goes to ground. This is called a pull-down resistor because it pulls the input down to ground. When the switch is open, then the input is grounded. Now when the switch is closed, now we have a direct path from VCC to the input. So now the input is at VCC. If we switch the position of the resistor and the switch, then we can get the active low configuration. Now we have a switch which connects to ground. The other end of the switch is connected to the input through a resistor to VCC. This is called a pull-up resistor because it pulls the input up to VCC. When the switch is closed, now we have a direct connection between the input and ground. So when the switch is closed, the input is low.